Today I am in the most magical place on earth at the most magical time of year. This is Disneyland at Christmas. Let's check it out. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times. So basically, when you come to Disneyland at Christmas time, you expect a lot of different things, but most of all, it is a sense of the most festive time of year, and you're just gonna be surrounded by it. There's gonna be Christmas songs going, Christmas decorations, the tree, Santa, the characters are dressed up for Christmas. It's just like, if you wanna just immerse yourself into the most festive, fun holiday atmosphere, this is definitely the place. But I am here for foodie experience, rides, overlays, lights, tree, the whole thing, and just to do Christmas at Disney my way. Someone's doing magic tricks, and if there isn't anyone in there, ask them. Go. What do you? What? What can you show me? This. These people that work there are so incredible. They will do tons of tricks for you. And yes, I bought magic. I'm so excited. I mean, I feel like I did when I was like 12 years old. Like buying magic tricks. So much fun. So much cool stuff. The guys that work in there are absolutely amazing. Guys, girls, who knows? But it is the most fun. Highly recommend. Adore, adore the Main Street Magic Show. Okay, so I am at Jolly Holiday, and everyone has told me to get the holiday sandwich. I mean, look at this thing. There is turkey, cranberry stuffing. It is truly a holiday treat. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. That's Thanksgiving in a sandwich. It's a little dry. That's why there's gravy with it? I like it. Okay, so if you want one of the coolest holiday overlays, First of all, Honda Mansion is my absolute favorite, so that's a given, of course. But I have to say, Small World, which is not a ride that I think one needs to enjoy a lot or on a regular basis, but the holiday version needs to be done. So, very cool, must check it out. Although they all kind of are because 
you know, when you go to Disney regularly, if you've going, been going here for like a long time, since you were a little kid, all these little things kind of bring you back and you like to do certain things. This is one of my absolute must-dos. Plaza Inn fried chicken meal. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is an absolute must-do. It is so delicious. The fried chicken, the mashed potatoes, literally brings me back, but it is still solid. Highly recommend. I just wanted to say, like, it is obviously very infamous that Disney is incredibly crowded at Christmas time. Everybody wants to be here, and they're not wrong to want to be here. So, it is crowded. There are a lot of people. So, that's number one. Number two, what has made this a phenomenal trip, as opposed to, my God, there's a lot of people. I can't get into any restaurants. I can't eat anything. I can't get on any rides. All that's out. The way that the new app is working, or the situation with reservations, and Genie Plus has absolutely made all of it possible and made a phenomenal trip for me. I'm not a person that enjoys lines. I worship Disney and yet I hate lines. <laughs> not really crazy about crowds either, but I'm fine with it. But like, so it's pretty funny, but Genie Plus has been a game changer for me, especially in Disneyland Park. Like. I probably wouldn't have gotten on any ride, and I literally did every ride that I wanted to do. So I couldn't be happier about that situation. For me, it was totally worth the $20, and even the extra for Rise of the Resistance and Radiator Springs, like two of my absolute favorite rides, and not waiting for an hour. Literally not gonna happen. So I'd forego getting on it, so to me, it's definitely worth the money. I think it's a game changer, especially if you're going to be here for the holidays. There's so much to enjoy here. There's so many things that it's so special here. And it's hard to say, like, you don't want to miss anything when you're here. But because it is incredibly crowded, I think there would be a tendency to be like, I can't wait in all these lines. I mean, you just wouldn't get on the stuff that you wanted to, like everything. This has made it possible, it really has. In fact, the one thing I would recommend to Disney is there's a couple of rides that should 1 billion percent be on Genie Plus and they're not. Pirates of the Caribbean, Jungle Cruise, and most of all, Peter Pan. It's like the most popular ride like of all time. It always is, it always has been. Not on Genie Plus, so that would be my recommendation, but other than that, it's worked out really well and because of the new system and you're able to make reservations you're able to get into restaurants mobile ordering has has also been a game changer like it's so easy to get food it just is like you really just don't wait you don't wait in lines anymore it, it's just it's really it's wonderful so I'm a big fan of all the changes that they're making. The one big thing, obviously, is they really need to work on their app <laughs> situation. It's pretty terrible. Um, it's, uh, it just has a lot of glitches. It goes down all the time. You get color wheels. Um, but anyway, other than that, it's been phenomenal. Way better than I expected. I actually, before I knew Genie Plus was kicking in, I'm like, I'm going to go. I'm probably not going to get on anything and it has been the total opposite so I love it fantastic at Christmas. So it's interesting because Star Wars Land, uh, Galaxy's Edge, is very quiet right now. I'm not seeing a lot of characters. I'm not seeing a lot of things happening. Um, maybe that's because there's other things happening in the other realms of the park. But um, yeah, so it's uh, very quiet over here. Okay, so 
hear me, but um, basically, when I came here a few months ago, it was impossible to get into Ogun's. Now you have this walk-up list, which is amazing, and literally we got in in 20 minutes, less than, and fantastic. So that's such a nice thing, and that is a huge benefit with the app and everything else. And so here we are enjoying some blue wine that tastes like blue wine, but it's so epic. Love it here. If you want to find Santa, he is in Pooh's Corner. This is amazing. There's like next to no line. Amazing. Okay. Here's a major pro tip. There's, a, there's another one at um, the Westward Ho Trading Company. Okay, I think that's in Frontierland? Yes. Okay, so here's a major pro tip. So the fact is, is that one of the new things of the new world of having to do literally everything on your cell phone, it's going to suck every ounce of this is like better you have. So. If you don't have a block with you or whatever, what are they called? Brick? Block. Charger. Portable charger. <laughs> a charger. You're really out of luck because these fuel rods that you try to find in the park, they're like out of order, like everywhere. And that's crazy because they want us to be on our cell phones all the time. So it's kind of a kerfuffle. So if you can bring a charger or a brick with you, absolutely do it. Disneyland at Christmas. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you soon.